Yeah, let's go all the way back to initial drive right here. Um, the, uh, I don't see much. I don't see him hit him in the face at all. Well, his back was turned to us, so he may have caught him on the chin. Look, there is Giannis. Giannis going to the locker He's room. Going into the locker don't, room. Don't, don't ruin a great evening. No. And Giannis comes back out of the tunnel. And I heard it had, may have something to do with the game ball. Giannis wants the game ball. To me, Giannis used to be so likable. A modern version of Tim Duncan. You know, a guy that you just couldn't hate. Couldn't say a bad thing about. A low-key, wholesome dude that really just cared about winning. Not really concerned about the endorsements and the image, but championships and just being a great team guy. And now these days, I feel like Giannis exhibits the diva nature of a teen pop sensation with the power and control of LeBron James. And I saw this video the other night when the Bucks were playing the Jazz and Giannis goes to the hoop and makes contact with Colin Sexton and Giannis hits the ground so dramatically and naturally there's a squirmish after with all the players and they show the replay and Giannis clearly flopped like Almost like he's been a part of the Marcus Smart, Joel Embiid school of flopping. And it just got me sort of thinking that Giannis has kind of become insufferable. I mean, he's getting coaches fired like he's Utah Jazz legend Darren Williams. I mean, you can't tell me that Giannis didn't at least sort of influence the departure of Adrian Griffin. I mean... There had been rumblings, they didn't really get along, but the bottom line is the Bucks had the second best record in the NBA, and it hadn't even been the halfway point of Griffin's first year as coach. I mean, the firing was absolutely ridiculous, and I think it was done to kind of please Giannis. And then earlier in the year, Giannis goes and hunts down a game ball in the Pacers locker room. Like he's the coach's son in Little League. I mean, I thought that was kind of embarrassing. I mean, the Pacers were giving the ball to the dude on their team that recorded their, you know, his first two points ever. And Giannis had to get it because he broke some franchise record that in reality didn't, you know, didn't matter at all. And don't even get me started about Giannis's talentless brother clogging one of the 12 roster spots on the Bucks. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, the dude is probably the worst player in the NBA, and the fact that he's on the team is clearly because Giannis wants him there. I mean, it's a joke. It would be like Michael Jackson giving Tito a solo in We Are The World. I mean, it just doesn't happen. But it does with Giannis because... He can kind of hold the city of Milwaukee and the Bucks hostage because they need him way more than he needs them. And that's just the reality of the situation. So he has all the leverage. I mean, nobody's going to willingly play in the destination city of Milwaukee. There's not going to be max deal free agents going there. I mean, that's just the truth. It's not a place that players want to live and the Bucks were fortunate enough to draft Giannis and you know Giannis stay but there's strings attached and it's become pretty obvious it you know we saw it with getting Damian Lillard getting rid of Drew Holiday for Dame and that has seemed to not really be a fit so far I mean I personally think that Dame has fell way below expectations of what we all thought he would bring to the Bucks, And it seems like the two of them really aren't that much of a fit. I mean, it's like two first options and both of them kind of doing their own ISO situation. I don't really see the harmony. And the Bucks look a lot worse this year than they did last year with Drew Holiday. And he, you know, Giannis just spends so much time now worried on his image. I mean... He's desperately trying to play that relatable common guy. I mean, 
or seeing him on the bench scanning QR codes for free wings at the end of a game. You know, the guy making like 50 million a year. And it just kind of makes my eyes roll. I just think it's just irritating. And since really he won his championship back in 2021, where he was a dominant force who played his best on the biggest stages, his image seems to be the priority over truly winning it.